anybody that's missing, they're going to lose out. But again, we don't lower standards for no one. Team, we have 91 people. Everybody needs to get on the phone right now and get one more agent on right now. I'm about to get it on my phone and put the word out. So you definitely need to get on the phone and put the word out. Myra, go ahead and take over. Been blessed Tuesday night, Team Relentless. Let's give it up for our Senior Vice President, Mr. Xavier Marrero, trying to take me out of my little role over here of hosting, right? I mean, I could have just probably sat back and let you kill it like you kill everything else you do, really. Just teasing, no. But seriously, folks, I'm glad for you to take in the time to plug in tonight. I just want to start it off with some good humor, good feel, good vibe. Why? Because we have a lot of great things in store for you tonight. As Xavier mentioned, we're going to go into celebrating our top 10 list. If we haven't already met, my name is Myra Ferreira. I'm one of your executive sales directors. If you're new, if this is the first Zoom Team Relentless Tuesday training you're plugging into, just mark your calendar. Know as of now, when you started this business, these are the nights that you want to actually clock in and check in to building a successful business, right? I promise you one hour a week that you can dedicate to this can translate into you creating a legacy. So it is beyond well worth it. Plus with everything that we have in store tonight, we love to start off with celebrating and recognizing people that are paving the way, just blessing other people, growing our family, and also introducing people to a solution that they need. So we're gonna start off with the top 10 list of our agent enrollments. These are the agents within our team that have expanded the family. And maybe tonight you wanna give them an extra thank you because you wouldn't even be here if it weren't for them inviting you to this, but we celebrate you, we receive you, but let's go ahead and pay them some honors as well. Light it up in the chat and recognize our vice president, Mr. Bruno Florida, holding that number one spot for agent enrollments. Second held by Dr. Arnold Bogarty, another one of our vice presidents, regional vice president, Raisa Ortero, vice president, Anthony Kelly, vice president, Zandra Valles, Ms. Nakia Johnson, Chantel Ramirez, Vanessa Carpio, and me. Uh, this was customer enrollment, sorry. Yes, for me, sorry. I, okay, yeah, I got it, awesome. And then Lucinda Lopez, one of our other vice presidents. And again, correction to that, that was for the top customer enrollment. So thank you so, so much for allowing people to know they can fix their financial limitations and ultimately participate in that rescue for them and their family. Moving to our second top 10 list, this is for the growth of our team. Agent enrollment, the top 10 agents who have maybe invited you tonight again, right? So first by held by Vice President, Mr. Bruno Floridor. Next, Sandra Mantry, Executive Sales Director, Chris Berner, Jessica Simmons, Luis Pagniagua, oh, Paniagua. I didn't heard that in a long time. Regional Vice President, Raisa Ortero. Regarius Ball. Our Executive Vice President, Mr. David Marquez. Jimmy Kirksius and Luis Cap de Villa. So again, congratulations to you. I know we're all muted, but go ahead and celebrate it in the chat. Throw some flames, light it up. Really recognize them because they are key with connecting people to designing their future. Now, as far as so many announcements, so many changes, so many things that we have coming up, of course, we are going to get a lot of those details shared with us by our senior vice president, Mr. Xavier Murrow. But tonight, we do want to also set the tone, right? So there's two particular agents this evening that during our leadership meeting conversation Monday, as we start off for the week, they definitely stood out as stories of success that we want to share with you all because they're just showing us what's possible. A lot of times people create more obstacles than what really need to be there. And the truth is, if you think you can, or if you think you can't, you're right. Now, here's a little funny background with regards to this. And I don't know if I was even able to share this with the leadership team or if Xavier even truly knew about this. But in the beginning of this call, he went ahead and gave a shout out to Miss Lorna Bell, right? She's been actually one of my uh, initial agents from having gotten started when I began on this journey with the company. But we actually met at a PBR at her house in another business years ago, right? So she has just been great at doing this. It's definitely a strong skill set for her. But what this has meant with regards to what we were able to do this past weekend was that she was able to have that intimate conversation invite these individuals, be extremely successful at it. Like Xavier said, truly packing out the place 
being perfect with accommodating for their needs and just allowing people to feel comfortable, feel well received. The space was immaculate. And I think that a lot of us need to really hear on, from her on how doable this is, how duplicatable this is, right? We're not having to go build a building with you know bricks and cement and all that crazy stuff. This is literally just opening the door to basing it on the core of this. And what is it? Relationships, right? Building those relationships. So please go ahead and give some undivided attention to I see Ms. Lorna on the list of attendees. I'm sending you a request to unmute and you should be able to as well turn your camera on. Lorna, can you hear me? I see you on, on our attendees list, Lorna. Can you hear me okay? I'm sending you a request to go ahead and unmute. We can go ahead and, and hear from you tonight. Can you go ahead and uh, we see you. There you are. And, Take it away, boss lady. Okay. Uh, hi, guys. So um, those who don't know me, my name is Lorna Bell. I have been with this amazing company for um, since 2018. I'm a senior field trainer. And hopefully by next month, um, I'm going to be um, an executive sales director. That's my goal right now. Now, I know Xavier wanted me to get on here to tell you guys about how I was very successful about the PBR this coming weekend. What I did, I created a flyer. I had my um, sister post it on her um, community group chat. I also did the same. I was able to get two, um, two clients from there, which one of them signing up um, next week. I was also... Um, happened to get like two people from my community. And I met a gentleman, I went out to Walmart. I started um, prospecting, met a gentleman, which was also there at the uh, meeting this coming um, Sunday. He's um, signing up this coming Friday. So, you know, that's pretty much what I did. And, you know, I kept posting on, the, um, on my community chat and I was able to, you know, get a couple of clients that was, um, open to come out to the PBR. Awesome, awesome. And you know, I remember there was one thing as well that we spoke on and I know you did amazing at this. It showed with the turnout rate, it showed with the number of individuals that were there was that actual telephone confirmation, right? So in addition to inviting people, a lot of life is always happening. So what were some of the things that worked for you to just remind them and solidify those RSVPs? Well, actually, I made the phone call a week before, and then I made the phone call a day before, um, just to remind them of the upcoming PBR. And, you know, um, they just, you know, text me back and said, hey, I'll be there. I mean, I did invite it, like around 20 people, but, uh, you know, for some reason, some of them was unable to um, show up, but, you know, we having another one coming up soon. Yeah, so hopefully they'll make it. So you had okay. So let's break these down to simple numbers for people to really comprehend what this consists of. You invited about twenty people. Like twenty people responded, asked for the information, and and yeah. seemed as if they were going. I think you said about sixteen confirmed. But then the day of, oh, what was the yeah. turnout? We had hundred percent close. That's for sure. Everybody in the room was like signing up, right? But yeah, what was the actual confirmation number for those that might wonder what it takes? It was 16 confirmation number um, that I got. I got. I received the text, 16 people confirmed, but you know, unfortunately um, they had other things that um, happened that day. So they were unable to um, attend. But you still in turn had what about, there were definitely over 10 people there. Yes, I think we had about, um, let me see, 13, 14 people. Right. That's amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much for breaking that down, Lorna. Definitely, team. Let's go ahead and shout her out again. Like I even said when we were opening that day to do that presentation, speaking in front of a crowd, getting out of your comfort zone, it is something that people would rather exchange for like the loss of their life, okay? That's a huge, huge deal. Understand that in order for you to get different results in life, it's going to take you to Press yourself or force yourself to, to level up and grow in what you can bring to the table. But Lorna, I thank you so much 
for your partnership, for our friendship, for knowing each other for years, for still sticking around and just being here and present. I'm excited for your success and all that is to come. And it's more than a pleasure. I know for myself, and I'm pretty confident in saying that on behalf of our senior vice president, Xavier, that we love to be able to serve with someone who has made that decision, even if we have to go ahead and contribute our all, even if that means on a Sunday, even if it means any other uh, contribution, that really just gives us the the opportunity to do what this industry allows us to do best, which is serve in the growth of other people, right? So blessings to you, much continued success. And moving along to our very, very second uh, testimony in regards to implementing those initial steps. Um, again, thank you so, so much, Lorna, for sharing that with us. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. I'm excited and looking forward to what's next in your future. But as well, we have another agent who even achieve a uh, promotion, if I'm not mistaken. I know that this was someone that our vice president, Rob Santiago, is able to introduce and share a little bit about, about what this young lady has been able to create. And also similar to what was just shared now, I believe that she actually met Rob at a PBR and she was able to duplicate the same introduction that she had with this opportunity to as well create her very own success. So my apologies for not having noted the name of this young lady, but I do know that our vice president, Rob Santiago, is connected. I'm going to go ahead and get myself out the way, give you the floor, Rob, so you can give this proper introduction to a young, another boss lady killing it on the team. And we can hear on those gold nuggets that she can pour out to, into us. Absolutely, Mac. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, shout out to Lorna, man, uh, and your success with that. You too, Myra, reading your own name off the charts was dope. I know we were all excited. He was like, me? I'm like, oh, was it us? You? Who was it, right? But uh, congratulations to all y'all ex. Shout out to you. Um, and I want to introduce uh, this next person and let her tell her testimony. Because, again, like how you met Lorna at a PBR, I drove four hours on a damn near empty gas tank to Fort Myers, <laughs> not knowing if anybody was going to show up. And, and I think it was Kate Cora, right? Fort Myers, she'll, she'll correct me if I'm wrong. It's like Worcester, Master, that they'll come at your throat. So you got to be careful. But um, I met her at a hair salon. I went and did a PBR in a hair salon while the hair salon was operating, while people were getting their hair done, haircuts were being done. And I'm in the back and I'm carrying my screen TV in from my house that I brought with me four hours. I just wanted to explain that to y'all in the beginning because some of y'all get spoiled with this whole webinar thing. I drove four hours with no gas and my TV. Thank God I brought the plug because it worked. You know what I mean? But we got it in there. And Marissa, shout out to Marissa Gonzalez. She's the one, um, one of my newest agents on the team. She was in that room that day and that was like two years ago she'll tell you um and from then we were connected on social media and she does a lot of things in the community she's an advocate for a lot of things i'm super proud of her but um not only did she come into the business she did her own pbr she accomplished field trainer her first month she achieved the first that was the fast track bonus on top of that like i don't even think she knows that but like Man, I'm super uh, excited about her being a part of this and what she brings, not just to our org, but to the whole company um, and just coachable, man. Like she went out and did it. So, Marissa, I know your, your line was already uh, muted. She's ready to go. She don't play no games. So get on, tell the people, um, you know, what you were able to do coming into this and, you know, how you were able to hit that field trainer title and what a PBR was for you and that success. Hey, everybody. What's up? Thank you, Rob, for having me. Uh, what's up to the whole Relentless team? Uh, like Rob said, we met about a year and a half, two years ago. It was like probably the beginning of, I think, 2019, right before COVID. And my best friend, the hair salon that he was in, is actually owned by my best friend. And she had something else going on. So I wasn't even paying attention to what he had going on. I was just in the space and kind of sort of hearing what was going on, but not really paying full attention, but he became the guy with the TV, right? And he just had this dope energy about him and we followed each other on social media and I had just seen what he was doing this last year and just, you know, the humble guy that he is, the family man that he is, and just promoting about how he's helping families. 
And that's everything that I'm about. I am wholeheartedly a community person that just wants to help people. So when I saw what he was doing and he had hit me up a couple of times, I was like, again, eh, now nah, Rob, I'm good. I'll, I'll post for you. I'll do trial runs for you all day, but now nah, I'm good. I'm good. And finally he, he just got me at like that right moment. And I was like, you know what, let's do it. Let's run it. And it's literally been fast track ever since. Like he said, you have to stay coachable. You have to listen to your mentors. You have to stay plugged in. Like Xavier was saying earlier, they didn't have all these trainings before. Shout out to the whole Relentless team because they're making it easier for us. They want us to learn from their mistakes. They want us to reach the top quicker than they were able to. And even right now, we've got this all-in club that Rasa and Rob are running, and it's literally fast-tracked for you to just follow it. They talk about duplication. They talk about the system is already in place. All you got to do is work it. And guys, I'm living proof. I said this to Rob when he first hit me up about it. I was like, I'm not interested. I've done this kind of stuff before. It doesn't work for me. And guys, I'm following the system. I'm listening to the mentors. I'm listening to top leaders. And it's working for me. In a month, I hit field trainer. I would have never guessed it. I've done tons of other stuff like this before, right? And I didn't get anywhere. And now I'm finally able to see it takes leadership. It takes being coachable, staying plugged in, staying connected, and just learning. And at the end of the day, also remembering your why. Why are you doing this? Because that's what's going to keep you motivated. That's what's going to keep you consistent and persistent. And they say activity equals results. Activity equals results. They say it because it's true. I hope I didn't leave anything out, Rob. <laughs> Listen, I, I want y'all to tell me if I'm not mistaken. Don't she sound like a VP already? Like she, she already so well spoken, uh, very coachable. Mind you, it's my back because yo, X, I know I knew this since Monday. I didn't even tell her that she was gonna tell her testimony on tonight. Like I literally told her like 30 seconds ago. So again, shame on the on the mentor, right? But that just shows again. Cause this happened to me. I know I've gotten calls last minute to get on, but it shows that you're just ready to step up, regardless. There's no excuses. You know, what I mean, you could have been like Rob, I wasn't ready. You didn't even tell me. Um, I wasn't gonna get on here, but we appreciate you. I'm excited for your future with this. And Myra, I give it back to you. Or if you guys want me to take it from here, yeah, yeah, let I me know. It. But Marissa, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you. Marissa, thank you. thank you so, so, so much. Um, yes, Rob, you'll have it in just another moment back. But of course, thank you for that example again of leadership. And it is true, man. You know, Rob did whatever it took. Definitely, you know, following the example of what it is to be relentless in real life. No obstacles. It didn't matter. It was like, what is it? Uh, to the top or bust. You know what I mean? So he's taking this by lead, by taking his team along with him. Marissa, thank you for that share as well. Just explaining to people that copying the system, copying the system. And you notice one thing too, when I went over a lot of those recognizing the top 10 list, what did you hear? VP, VP, RVP, EVP, right? So again, it's just proven time and time again that these, this platform, these trainings, all that our leaders do to pour into us, give us a way to cut the learning curve down drastically, right? They allow their mistakes to count for us as well so that we're able to learn and win alongside with them a lot faster. So as far as some of the updates, um, again, I know that Xavier's going to go into detail with this, but just so you know, some of the changes have already been implemented to our band calendar. We really want to utilize tools, things that cut down uh, the room for error, hopefully having some systems in place, something that's able to be duplicated and copied makes a syst makes it a lot more simple. You know, even with offering trainings like this, check out next week. Again, we've had, we have updates going on. We're focusing our attention to duplicating PBRs. Why? Because at the end of the day, this is a relationship building business. And like our Pinnacle Senior Vice President, Alfred Nixon said, I think at the very first training that I ever met him, this industry of network marketing is simply a paycheck attached to the person you create yourself to be. So again, you know, understanding that if you can put into play, we will help support you along the way. People can feel your sincerity, 
but just get out there and do it. That's what our training will be focusing on tonight. So again, we're going to stick with taking full advantage of the new agent launch. You know, go ahead and put some flames in the chat. If you logged into the 8 p.m. session, right? Man, I'm telling you, Alyssa Davis, she killed it. Who got their follow-up email today, right? Go ahead and put a one in the chat. If you got a follow-up email from the corporate team with the updated forms, I saw that and I got excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so much more helpful for anyone brand new. So go ahead and put a one in the chat if you got that as well. If you were on and registered, I know I got my email today. So I was excited. And then on Mondays, we're focusing on VP University. Tuesdays, we're obviously going to continue with our team relentless trainings, Tuesday nights. Wednesdays, we are going to focus all of our attention to implementing the skill set that Rob will be training us on next, next, which is what? Inviting. You see, a lot of times, you know, if you sit there, let th think about a drop of water. A droplet of water can fall on a stone, and if it falls long enough, that water can actually break ground through that brick or stone or concrete, right? So we kind of feel that we don't have that much of a turnout rate right now with our Zoom webinars. So we really want to encourage the skill set of user, utilizing the one through 10 tool, having more of those relationships, being able to introduce people and plug them into a system. Again, outside of just the Zooms, I understand that for COVID we shifted. We're not trying to be ignorant as to whatever the reality you may be facing with any limitations or restrictions and policies or whatever. But at the end of the day, you are in control of your own business and you can grow it. So Wednesday nights, we will be focusing on having the top of the top, cream of the crop, right? Leaders from Team Relentless doing our path to financial freedom at 9 p.m. via Zoom, okay? Now, another addition to Wednesday nights, which is, again, an addition, a complement to our journey by our executive sales director, Ms. Jackie Garcia. She had actually stepped up and offered for those night owls. Like, I know I'm a night owl like crazy, but there's actually going to be the late night grind at 10 p.m. Again, these things have been implemented in the calendar. I know our leadership team can correct me if I'm wrong and give another look to that, but we're wanting to make sure you know where to plug in to find what you need and what we're offering. Now, by example of our vice president, local here to the Tampa market, Dr. Arnold Bogarty, let's shout him out in the chat. He went ahead and took lead and stepped up to the plate to make happen the Glory Days PBR events on North Del Mabry here in Carrollwood area, right? North Del Mabry in Tampa. But the thing is this, it takes us back to the beginning. So we have a call to action. I know Xavier is gonna elaborate on that, but if there's no local PBR happening where you are, that means opportunity, right? So make it happen. We really wanna encourage this for Thursday evenings. I know again, if you're in the Tampa Bay area and you can get there, be there. A lot of times you may need the PBR for your guests, but if not, the PBR needs you for your testimony. It needs you for the example. It needs you for the relatability to guess that other agents on the team have. So take full and total advantage of that. It, it's actually gonna be something exciting. We decided to go based on themes. So you can actually wear a costume this Thursday, right? I'm gonna dress like a millionaire, right? So I'm just putting in no heels for Myra tomorrow, just letting y'all know. But again, that's for Thursday nights. If you have any doubt or question or even the excitement and you wanna go ahead and put a PBR into place, get with your, your nearest leader, you know, your, your upline who introduced you to this, somebody you feel you can get that support from. In addition to, again, these amazing resources, tools, and training that'll put you in place to be able to get it started. Now understand a PBR can be in your home. A PBR can be at the coffee shop down the block. A PBR can be at Glory Days or Applebee's. Regardless, we've had so many leaders post pictures of examples. There's no wrong way to win when you're winning. Okay, and then last but not least on Fridays, the understanding that corporate will as well be offering the new agent launch and just, you know, we really have to thank the whole corporate team. Chet Seeley has been such a huge influence to that, but we are definitely leveling up company wide. Now, as far as the team, I know we have a relentless Thanksgiving event coming up, but with no further delay, I know that I could kind of feel this excitement, right? I know he started off the call trying to take me on my spot, but that's okay because at the end of the day, you know, he's running the show. But please, please, please give your undivided attention to our senior vice president, Mr. Xavier Morello. If it's the first time you're hearing him, this is someone you never want to miss a beat with what he's got going on. He's built this opportunity in business from the ground up already establishing a million dollars in sale minimum every 30 days in business volume. So he's done a lot of a lot of good things the right way, effectively bringing us all along this journey. He personally introduced myself. I know Rob who will be training us tonight as well as 
RVP Reza, who will be training us tonight. Like his track record speaks volume. And for me, really, you want to see what Relentless looks like? The definition book probably has this photo right next to it. But again, go ahead and receive these updates, announcements. Undivided attention, y'all folks. Classes in session. Go ahead and Xavier, please take it away. Bless us with the information. And always, thank you, my brother. Definitely, definitely. Man, man, everybody put some number one, some flames in the chat for not only the testimonies, right, but for Myra, who's constantly just leading by example, fully committed, always plugged in, not only in the English market, but in the Spanish market as well. I don't know how she do it. She's like an octopus with all these hands, just they're everywhere, right? But stuff is getting done. But guys, look, I'm gonna point some stuff out, right? During these testimonies, I heard a couple of things. One, thinking outside the box, right? She said, you know what? I told my sister, I told other people to post this up, right? Guys, some of you guys are like, say, I can't get somebody to a PBR. You know, I just can't get nobody there. The reason why is because you're not thinking outside the box. Guys, this is not a job. This ain't just going to come with instructions. This ain't going to be where you're going to go into a classroom for an entire month before they put you on the sales floor. Or this ain't KFC where they're going to put you in front of a computer for a couple hours before they go and allow you to fry their chicken, right? This is a business. So it's not going to be easy, but it's simple. And that's exactly what we're going to keep it, right? Guys, look, another thing that I want you to point out, it was the follow-up. Not only did she invite them, but she followed up. She said, hey, you know what? We need to go ahead and make this happen. Like, we need to make sure that at the end of the day, like, you're going to be there. I got some important people that are coming, and they're taking time out of their busy day or time from their family or time out of their own beliefs to be here. And that's exactly what she did. She created that urgency. She created where this was very important, very valuable, and you just couldn't afford to miss the information. So she said, hey, I invited 20 people, 16 confirmed, and 13 showed up. And we had almost 100% closing rate in that room. Shout out to that, right? And then Rob was like, man, I had another one who I did the PBR for. Then she finally got started, and she just duplicated what I showed her. And she went ahead and hit her first promotion. Type of number one on the chat for that, man. That's, that's crazy, right? Talk about creative field trainers left to right. It's that simple, right? So if you're a brand new agent, congratulations. Welcome to Team Relentless. As you can see, we're more of a family here. And we're going back to just having fun and just making this exciting, right? When you think about a job, fun is not attached to it. When you think about this business, Fun is definitely attached to it, right? And I'm gonna tell you one thing. I had a conversation with Rob earlier and I said, Rob, what's wrong with some of these agents? Rob, what's going on? Rob, when we first started this, what training did we get? Rob, when we first started this, what mentor did we have to teach us how to do PBRs or hold us accountable? Rob, at the end of the day, who can we count on to make sure that our business was going to grow? He said, Xavier, we didn't have none of that. I said, Rob, that's, that's my whole point. My whole point is that we didn't need it. We were so hungry. We wanted this so bad that at the end of the day, we wasn't counting on anyone. We was going to go make it happen regardless who was going to be there or who wasn't. Ask Rob, ask Razor, how many times did we set up PBRs and no one showed up? I mean, ask Daryl Phillip how many times we set up events and the room was completely blank, empty. You hear crickets, but we didn't stop. We didn't care. We know as long as we stay consistent, it was going to happen no matter what. And we wanted it that bad. There was no excuses made. All emotions pushed to the side. We didn't care if we was calling our uplines and there was an available. We didn't care if every single time we sent a text to our uplines, they didn't respond. We didn't care. We went out there and made it happen. Let me ask you this quick question. Who wants to be a VP or higher type of number one? I want to see this, right? Who wants to be a six-figure earner type of number one? That's a lot of ones. That's a list still going. 
right? Who wants to create time freedom? Which to me, that's the golden ticket. But let me ask you this, and you don't need a lot of me. Look yourself in the mirror and ask this question. Will you drive four hours with a flat screen TV in your back seat, not knowing people are gonna show up? Type of number two, if you would drive four hours with a flat screen on your back TV, not knowing somebody was going to show up. Mutualize. That's a lot of tools. That's a lot of tools. Will you step out your comfort zone to create a different lifestyle? Because your comfort zone is what, what got you where you're at today. Your comfort zone is your danger zone. I love it. See, we're relentless. <laughs> we don't stop. But check this out. Rob sacrifice not only his time, but money. When you try, it takes, it takes money to get there, right? Not even that, he just believed in himself. And he believed in that agent enough to take that drive. Do you believe in yourself enough? Do you believe in your agents enough? These are all questions I want to ask, you want to ask yourself tonight. Guys, last Sunday, Malcolm, T, Gino, some of the other guys can tell you, I passed up on a basketball game that we had scheduled as fellas to come together to have some fun because we've been working real hard. And I passed that up. Guys, I have worked my ass off for years, even before UWE, to be able to take time off every Sunday to give it to my, to my Lord, to my God. I made that sacrifice. Guys, I gave up football tickets to the Buccaneers and the Chicago Bears this weekend to be to the PBR. And some of you guys don't even have the time freedom or the financial freedom I have when you sit there and you select all these other stuff and you don't do a PBR and you don't show up. But you have the nerve to on Monday to call, your, to call or text your mentor and because they don't respond right away because they have a full schedule because they understand what true business is, you get all emotional. Put the emotions to the side. Tell me, I'm telling you this right now. You can't deposit them in the bank. They do not clear. Now, on top of that, guys, listen to this. And I love this story. Who wants to be the next raiser? Type of number one. Who wants to have Razor's title? Type of number one. Who wants to have Razor's income? Type of number one. It's a lot of people. Oh man, we had a senior by, we're hitting pentacle by the end of the year. <laughs> That's a lot of ones. Good Lord, God, God, God is good. <laughs> God is good all the time. But let me tell you this story. See, I remember Razor calling me. She's all the way in Massachusetts, Springfield, Massachusetts. She said, X, I need you to come here. I need you to come do a PBR Super Saturday for me. I said, Razor, of course I will. But I need you to start doing PBRs every single week for four weeks in a row. And then I will show up. She goes, X, what are you talking about? I've never spoken in front of people. I said, Razor, what does that got to do with me? That has nothing to do with me. And that has nothing to do with your business. Get out your comfort zone because that's your danger zone. And your comfort zone got you in a situation you're in right now. 
See, guys, as a mentor, as a leader, I keep it 100. I'm very transparent. I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm here to make you better. Period. If you want to make everybody happy, go sell ice creams. I wasn't trying to sell ice creams. I was trying to accomplish my purpose in this life and what God wants me to do, and that's to empower others, to make people go ahead and live the life that they deserve, and more importantly, their kids live a life that they deserve. Can we all agree? Of course we can. And if not, I don't know. I can't relate. But I remember Razor calling me and she goes, X, she's crying. She's crying, right? She goes, X, man, I can't do this. Like, I can't get in front of people, man. Like, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm this. I said, Razor, <laughs> you already set it up. Call me back when you're done. Click, right? Some of you guys want me to be your mentors, but I don't know if y'all ready for me to be your mentor. Ask Razor, <laughs> ask Rob, ask Myra, right? Ask, ask Malcolm, ask Courtney. I don't know if y'all ready for this. And this has been me since day one. Then I remember getting another phone call about an hour and a half later, it's two hours. Razor's still crying. And she says, X, I'm built for this. I killed it. I'm about to take over. I don't have no one here, but you know what? I don't need nobody here. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this to the top. And then the next couple of weekends, we're going up there. We're going to blow this thing up. Shout out to her. Shout out to Natalie for putting that together. So you guys want to talk about y'all want certain things, but y'all ain't wanted to do certain things. Think about that. Think about if, if Razor that day said, you know what, X, I can't do this. X, you know what? That's BS. You over there in Tampa, I'm all the way in Springfield, and you ain't trying to come out. You're my mentor. Razor, I'm not responsible for your business or your success. You make that happen on your own. My only job is to provide you the information. And my only job is to motivate you. Other than that, you're responsible for everything else. And she took that to heart. And she said, you know what, X, you are right. I don't need you. And you are right. I'm built for this because once I stepped out my comfort zone, I realized I'm comfortable again and I'm gonna keep growing because you told me not to stay in my comfort zone. How many of you guys know that you're stuck in your comfort zone? How many of you guys are scared to get in front of the room and just speak? Because before I started this business, so was I. I didn't come to this business as a senior vice president. I came into this business as a brand new agent, the same way Rob and Razor and Myra did, same way David Marquez did, the same way Dr. Arnold did, the same way Anthony Kelly, Inez, Natalie. All the people that are on the top chart, congratulations. We all started as brand new agents, but we all stepped out of our comfort zone. And we all went out there and did PBRs. And Myra says something earlier, which is so true. Oh, you don't have a leader or a mentor doing PBRs or hosting game days every week? <laughs> Congratulations, the biggest opportunity. You know why I grew so fast in this business? Because I was the first one to do what everybody wanted, didn't want to do. And I became a pioneer in this market. I became a pioneer in the entire central Florida because we wasn't waiting for no one. What are you waiting for? No one's gonna come. We're a team and I get that, but it's not our responsibility. Brand new agents, congratulations, but it's time to work. Field trainers, senior field trainers, sales directors, Put it like this. If you're a sales director, put an SD right now on the chat. I want to see how many sales directors. Put an SD and then put the city that you're from, that you're located right now. I want to see how many sales directors we got and where they're located. We got a lot of SDs in Tampa. New York, Massachusetts. Keep going, Virginia, Tampa. Clear waters. Razor said X, X, bro, 
How is it that you pushing me out my comfort zone? And I went out there and kill it. But we got sales directors in other cities that are waiting for what? X, you made me do this when I was like a field trainer or senior field trainer. Why? Why are you pushing them? And I said, Razor, you right. So my task, my challenge to every sales director in whatever city you're in, you become the pioneer in your city and you take over that city. And when you do that, you're gonna see not only your rent goes up, but that paycheck goes up. And we're doing this to help other people, but we're also doing this for the money. Let's not play ourselves. See, money is a tool that allows you to do a lot of things. And that means taking care of your family the same way we are. See, because we took ownership and we became a pioneer, today, my parents are retired. And my dad still goes to work when he wants to because he's an old school Puerto Rican and there's too much pride in him. But my parents know right now they have all the time, freedom in the world and they don't got to worry about nothing because not only did I create a nice residual income over here, but I took that money and I started investing other places. And because of those investments, it's multiple five figures coming in every single month. And my parents know they're good, even if anything was to happen. Do you want to be in that position? Do you want to be that individual? So I challenge every single person, every single Thursday, we need to have a game day. The same way Dr. Arnold Brody stepped up and said, you know what? I'm not winning for no one, including Xavier. We're going to get this started. And they got the show rolling. I knew you guys to do the exact same thing. And you might say, Xavier, that sounds cool and everything, but... Um, how does this even start? How do we even get there? What is the first step? How do we cross that bridge? Well, it's going to be very simple because we're going to have not only our vice president, but our regional vice president to give you the game plan from A to Z, how you're going to make this happen. And these two are just a power couple, a powerhouse. Congratulations, not only on their marriage, but their beautiful home, which is a hell of an investment. And this is what I'm talking about. Razor can tell you, we had conversations where she was dead broke and I was half broke. And I can have conversations where Rob hit rock bottom and I'm still climbing to the top. We had conversations that one day we're going to change these conversations. We're going to laugh about these conversations and we're going to talk about some big money and investments. And that's where we're at today. And you know what got us there? was in these webinars, the PBRs. The PBRs is what got us there. So some of you guys came in during COVID, so you might have seen a different culture because we had no other choice, we was restricted. But now that COVID is going away and disappearing, it's back to hit these streets. It's back to getting the trenches. It's back to making sure, well, give me one second because my laptop's about to die. It's back to making sure that at the end of the day, we train you guys on what got us to the top and it's going back to the basics. So again, every Thursday, I want pictures to be sent out. During the week, I want pictures to be sent out. Guys, if you see the numbers being out, I've been out in these streets. I've been in the trenches. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my top producers that their track record speaks for themselves and they're going to teach you how not only to invite, but how to present in a PBR. So Myra, I'm going to go ahead and give it back to you. Do what you do the best. And before I do that, I want to share my screen real quick because these are up and coming events that you need to put in your calendar right now. And I'm super excited for this. Again, look what happened because Reza stepped out of her comfort zone four years ago, and then she brought a beast in by the name of Natalie that said, you know what? I want to take this to the next level in my city as well. And within a year, she becomes a vice president, an r, r member, and is about to hit the six figures. Give a round of applause to that. And now those two powerful women are getting together and taking over that state. 
to the point that corporate realized and gave recognition, say, you know what, we ain't never had people up there. But y'all two are killing it, and we can't, we can't ignore it. <laughs> y'all making too much noise. These numbers are climbing. The charts are just like booming. It's like Bitcoin right now. I think it's just look what happened. And then November 20th, guys, look, get with your local leaders. Relentless Thanksgiving dinner potluck. Guys, we're giving away laptops. We're giving away different things. We have a thing going on, a contest going on that for every customer you get, you're going to get one raffle ticket. For every agent you get, you're going to get two raffle tickets. By you just showing up, you get another ticket. And if you bring any canned goods, you're going to get two raffle tickets. I don't care if it's one can or a hundred, but I'm going to tell you one thing. Depending on your funds, it shows your heart of how much food you can donate and give back because on top of that, we're going to get Publix gift cards so we can make sure every family has a Thanksgiving. Every family is going to be able to join Thanksgiving because they're going to have a turkey at their table. You want to talk about leadership. You want to talk about giving back. You want to talk about becoming a river of blessings. Here you go, guys. We even going to do arcades for the kids in the Tampa, other local cities. I can't speak on their behalf. But we're going to have a bouncy house and everything. So I will see a lot of you guys November 20th. And we're going to be out there having fun. We're going to learn more. But this is all about family. Before you know it, we're going to just be sitting back big old stomachs, feeling good, feeling lazy. But guess what? We did it as a team. We did it as a family. So mark your calendars. Get ready. Let's take over. Myra, go ahead and do your thing. Thank you, Xavier. I know the team is lit, 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 guys. Look, we're actually making a bit of an exception. Normally by now, we're probably midway or more than midway through training tonight. So just thank you for being patient with us and giving us a little bit more of your undivided attention. But guess what? So we have all this energy now all this motivation to go ahead and put these PBRs into play. What do we need next now? Like you touched on, inviting. That's it. We're going to hear from the top of the top. You've already heard this gentleman speak before. He is phenomenal at training. He's been able to kill this thing, bringing himself all the way up to the vice president level one in the R&R club. He's the male of the R&R real life club, right? Our team sweethearts, which we love, respect and appreciate training. None other than Vice President Rob Santiago gets to tell us how do we invite, right? Take it away, man. What's up, guys? Can you hear me? We're good. Yo, X, shout out to you, bro. You had us fired up there. I know I was fired up. Uh, shout out to Raisa and Natalie. I remember being on that trip and going there, and it, it's just wild to see, man. Like, it's wild to see that lineup, to see I'm on there, X on there, David, Arnold, like, top leaders, and we got Chet Seeley, Ashton Henry, like, it's incredible to see it, man. So you guys just go out there and support, even if you're not in that local market, share the flyer, go go look at and mass, invite people out, man, to that event, because it's definitely going to be life-changing. I'm excited. I'm um, a salute to everybody who was talking. I'm going to try to keep this as sweet um, and short as I can, because obviously it's already 11, so I want to respect everyone's time. But like, X was saying how we got to where we got to was by inviting. That's how I, be, how I became a part of the company. A lot of you guys don't know the first time me and X met was at a gym. Uh, he invited me to a local PBR. You know, him and Bobby Kim were presenting. There was like 10 seats, 15 seats in there. Uh, small TV, a, a low, small location. I, re I remember everything about that. But it was the first real experience that I had with FES or UWE now. Um, and not only did it invite me there, they invited me on a call. It was multiple invites that got me to sign up and make that decision at two o'clock in the morning. As you guys seen in Marissa's story, think about that. I was doing a PBR. She happened to be listening. And she said, I even mentioned this to her a couple times in the process. She didn't say, oh, I've seen you that day in the salon and I signed up. Nah, she followed me. We talking about a year and a half ago and inviting and inviting and inviting to where, look, perfect timing. 
That 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 right there, what she said well, was perfect timing. When X called me at 2 a.m., it was perfect timing. Like when whatever post that I put at that moment, at that time, was perfect timing. So you never know who you're gonna be posting in front of, what you're gonna put out there that because a lot of us we we um procrastinate on putting out that post or that live or this or that, and you not knowing that that one that you was gonna do was the one that was gonna bring on a beast into your organization. So just keep that in mind, guys. I wanna talk to you guys about the gateway skill of inviting. Um, understand the, the, the purpose of this. You know, when we're inviting people to a webinar, to a training, to a call, to a, a in live person, it's to educate them and for them to understand what it is that we do, right? It's not this guy, <laughs> this is an older one, it's like, that you just got somebody. Like a lot of people are out there like, oh, I, I got an enrollment or I got a customer or I got an agent. Like we're not playing tricks on people or just trying to get people, right? Uh, it's not a it's not a hunt. Like, the, you know, duck season, right? And this is a good example. I'm pretty sure he's shooting ducks or quails or something that he's shooting. But in this season, when you out there aiming for somebody like a target and you just trying to get them, don't you think the ducks know when it's duck season? Like they, they know they still a couple of them still get shot, but a majority of them know that it's that season, like a deer season. Or, like animals ain't stupid. They know when they're getting hunted. They know that time. So people ain't stupid. They know when you're just coming at them and you're just trying to get them instead of educate and having them understand what we're doing. So I need you to convert that mindset into a farming mindset. Right now, when we took that trip into Massachusetts four years ago, it was in February. That event that's being that's being done this time later, that was a seed that was planted four years ago. I want you guys to understand that. Not just the, the event or the customer that we enrolled, that, that, that event was a seed that was planted in that market. So when we're talking about PBRs, I need you guys to understand you. This not, not just signing up a customer and agent, but your PBR is a seed in your market, which eventually will grow and harvest into something major like a UWE post convention. So think about that, right? When X said that, like, yo, Raisa, it was because of Raisa's decision to be like, I'm going to overcome a fear that she still fights for now. I notice I live here, <laughs> right? I know the fears that she has. She's still overcoming those fears, but because of that decision, then the seed that was planted at that time now is harvested to where when we showed up, there was two people inside the place. Now, when we show up in the next week or two, how many people you think is going to be in the building? A lot more than two. It don't matter if it's a snowstorm or not. <laughs> we done proved that before. So understand. So for everybody on here who's not a part of a local PBR, be the pioneer to create that. Go out there and plant the seed in your city, in your in your state. It could be a new state that you're in that nobody's a part of. And it's like X said, instead of complaining about not having your leadership around or them not answering your calls or doing your PBRs or whatever the hell you're complaining about, be the person to be like, yo, I'm going out there and I'm going to be the first person to go do it. We did it in St. Pete. We had a huge uh, event over there and it's still growing from the seeds that we planted here in Tampa. You know, the markets that we've grown throughout that time to now all those seeds that we planted throughout the country has harvested to where we have thousands of agents across the country. So when you're new, understanding, inviting people, and this is inviting in general, not just to a PBR, we're going to lead it into that, but inviting when you're new, you ain't got no credibility in the business or in the industry. It's okay. Like, understand that. We know that you just came in, like hey, hey, you're brand new to this. You don't have the skill set of inviting or presenting the information yourself yet. You're learning that. You're not the leader yet. Some people want to be the leader before they follow the leader. You can't do that. You got to be able to co be coachable and learn and be a good follower first before you can be a good leader. Do you guys agree? Like right now, I didn't. We the, us as leaders, we didn't just pop up and become vice presidents. No, we followed the mentorship of Xavier and Alfred and Ashton, and we followed them. We profess we became professional followers first before we became leaders in the organization. So understand that. 
Don't ever go or try to go above and beyond your leader. Always be a student. To this day, I look at X, I look at Alfred, Ashton, and Raisa, and I'm always, I'm learning from everybody. Make sure that you maintain that and know that your people don't know you for this. So one thing I had a conversation with an agent of mine today is con exposure and consistency. Like there's an agent right now, I don't want to call out on, on particular people, but there's one of those people that's like, yo, I'm not being helped. They're not on the training. They're not posting nothing. They not. I looked the whole month back on their Facebook. Not one post about the business. Not nothing, guys. You gotta stay consistent. You gotta expose your business. You can't be an undercover agent. They don't know you for this yet. But if you expose and you stay consistent, you will become the person that they know for that. Understand that. That's very important. So knowing, inviting somebody, uh, using a third party tool. If it's inviting to a webinar, a PBR, and so on. You know how I got people to cross the bridge from St. Petersburg to Tampa at 7.30? If y'all know that drive, people ain't really trying to take that drive. Like, that's a 45-minute to an hour drive to come sit at a presentation. And How was I able to get that? How was I able to get people to make that commitment to drive across the bridge to get that information? Why? First of all, I had energy. That's huge. If you don't got energy and you're not excited about what's going on in your future or the future of somebody else, ain't nobody following you. And then I edified the crap out of my leadership. Right now, you see me at the top, that prospect, and the third party was the event. Let's talk PBR. The third party tool was the PBR. I didn't know how to present the info. I was brand new. They didn't know me for credit repair. I didn't know the industry. I didn't know none of that. You know who I did know? Newly promoted regional sales director, Xavier Marrero. Newly promoted executive sales director, Bobby Kim. Where he came from, I don't, I don't know. I just know that they were the top. Those are the people that I edified. Man, look, I got two gentlemen that are so busy, but they took time out of their week to be able to share some powerful info with people to become homeowners, purchasers of cars, get their debt consolidated, and they're giving an hour away of just free game in Tampa at the Embassy Suites at 7.30. I got three spots available and two people already interested. I need one more person to be at that event with me, and they're not going to be upset about coming out. Edification. I didn't tell them, oh, he's a regional sales director and he makes $25,000 a month in business. People don't understand that. They don't know what that means. They don't know what the title. I make a field trainer sound like a pinnacle leader. So edification, Myra does a training every Tuesday at 10 o'clock. If you don't tune in, she does a training every Tuesday at 10 p.m. on how to edify, <laughs> right? And, and, and throughout the call, learning edification is very powerful when it comes to the invite. So high energy edification and taking yourself out of the way and utilizing a third party tool. In my case was the event, the embassy suites in Tampa, 730. Uh, uh, RSD and the ESD are presenting the information. There's going to be a room full of people. I need you to be here. There's nothing more important than the 730 event on Thursday for us. Game day was game day. It was like church for us every Thursday. We didn't miss it. Right. Even if you didn't have a guest, we were showing up because, again, exposure and consistency. Right. I'm not showing everybody on my Facebook how many guests I brought. I'm showing that I'm attending the event and people are seeing that. And then when they see that there's 50 people, 100 people, 10 people in the room and they're like, yo, that's the event that he was talking about. Damn, I missed that. Right. So you leveraging that becoming the connector. Connector, when it comes to, so, uh, I was going to say social media, when it comes to building a network industry, a network marketing company over the last four, guys, I'm going into, I'm walking into the beginning of my fifth year and it, it, it seems weird to talk about it and say that, but how we got this far in is because I took myself out of the way early. I leveraged my upline and I don't mean leverage my upline as Xavier closed my three-way calls. He did my one-on-one -on -one trainings. No, that's not what I mean by I leveraged him. I leveraged his story, right? I use that as a connector, like leveraging the, the, the success of your upline, 
leveraging the event and the regional trainings, the weekly meetings, the success of those meetings, right? Uh, videos that were created. Audio is important. That's another big thing. I used to record their presentations in the, in the presentation, I would record it. And I would use that in the beginning when there wasn't no recorded webinars. I'm like, look, there's a presentation that I went to last week. Y'all don't know when these guys are gonna be in town again, but here's the information, press play. You ever seen a press play system? We got one in the back office for clients, one for agents. Right, uh, the, like all of these things. So that was something that I did as an audio too. Um, brochures, website, social media. Leverage of social media is big, man, when it comes to these PBRs. Like you really got to promote it. You know who used to make the most money in boxing? It wasn't the boxer at the pay-per-view event. Yeah, I know who Don King is. Y'all ever heard of that man before? Crazy hair dude right, in the boxing industry, you know, he was one of the highest paid promote ever in boxing, and he never got a fight. He got paid more than the fighters because he filled the seats. He edified the fighters. Like, you was, Don King was the king of promoting. So every PBR that you have, every event, like, it's true what X said at the beginning of this call. It's embarrassing we only got 117 people on here right now. People pay money to get trained by these leaders. We had we enrolled 100 agents last week as an organization. We should have three, four, five hundred 500 people on this call because we're not promoting it like Don King. This is an event. You promote the team call. You promote the weekly PBR. You promote your, your team call, whatever call that it is you're doing. You got to continue to push that, especially on social media. You got to push that heavy. Zoom is another three-way, three-way chats, Facebook groups, obviously anything that's not you, right? Just so we can fly through the rest of this. But look, some people are on here, they're like, yo, I'm not getting the training. I need more one-on-one -on -one time. Well, whatever it is that you feel that you need, no, you in the process of growing. You just got to stay plugged in and continue to learn and apply the information and learn with the intent to teach. There's a lot of powerful calls that happen throughout the week. Every Sunday at eight o'clock, the Alliance throws a call out to start the week. Monday Millionaire Mindset has been going on for like three years, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I, don't, I haven't missed one. And if it don't happen on Monday, it'll happen on Tuesday. Huge training, relentless team training, your own team training. Like there's people that complain to me that they're not growing in this company. And yet they weren't on our team call today. They were not on the webinar at nine o'clock and they weren't on the training at 10 o'clock, but at nine in the morning, they're going to be like, Rob, I need you. What I'm telling you, this information is powerful. We didn't have this training before. So having this on a regular schedule, know your schedule. Make sure that the agents know their schedule when they come into this so they're not lost because we need more people on these relentless calls. We need more people plugged into the millionaire mindset. That's how we got here. So if we're telling you this is how we got here and you're not plugging your agents into the system that got us here, you're not gonna get here. Just keeping it simple, right? Get yourself out the way, keep calm, and don't speak too much. We talk too much sometimes. We talk ourselves out of deals, we talk ourselves out of guests at PBRs. We talk because you done told them the whole damn presentation before they got to the PBR. That's like me inviting all y'all to the movies on Friday at seven o'clock. And then I'll tell y'all all the damn details of the movie before you show up. You're like, Rob, what the hell are you inviting us for? Like, you done messed up. <laughs> you done told us the whole damn movie. No, I'm going to tell you about a movie I look forward into go seeing that I'm not going to miss it. Like, I'm showing you the preview. Don't give them the movie. When you get these three, like, when you're at a PBR and your mentor is doing the presentation, don't do the presentation in the audience while he's doing it or she's doing it. Like, if they come and co close your deal, don't cut them off while they're talking. Like, that's what I mean by talking too much. Because sometimes we talk ourselves out of these deals. We talk guests out of coming because they're like, bro, you already told me everything. So why am I going to drive and go out there and be a part of that if you already tell me? So let's go into seven rules into inviting so we can end this up. Emotionally detach yourself from the outcome, right? I'm having an event uh, in November uh, at the casino for some of the fellas. 
and I'm promoting it on a regular basis. People who tell me that they're not coming, I'm not, I'm not emotionally attached to that outcome. Be like, all right, bet. Well, look, next, you know somebody who could make it out here next, and I'm just running through the numbers, and I'm myself. Be yourself when you're inviting someone or somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't I don't change into this different type of person when I speak to somebody about our company. Like, I'm Rob. I'm always the same Rob, online, offline. They'll tell you four years ago to now, I just speak a little bit better than I used to. I stuttered a lot before. But uh, be the best version of yourself. Every day we're growing. That's why the um, self-development is important. And practice of this is important. Because if you don't practice inviting and getting turned down, you're never going to get better. Like, understand, if you invite somebody and they're like, no, I'm not going, that's that's one way of you getting better is by continuously inviting, inviting, inviting. And mind you, sometimes you're going to invite the same person five times. That, like Lorna said, follow up is big. Invite them, remind them, remind them, remind them. Then they're going to show up because there was somebody who had a three way call set up today. And they set it up yesterday, and in less than 24 hours, they forgot. Yeah, you ever heard that before? Oh, yo, I forgot. Oh, my God. Like, it was at six. What? We just made this appointment yesterday, and you already forgot. <laughs> so people need reminders, right? Uh, bring passion. Be excited about the event. Yo, I'm excited. We're going to get everybody together at Glory Days on Thursday. They're going to be some fun costumes. They got a costume giveaway. Like, this is something that we never done before. It's going to be limited seating. At seven, I only got a couple people available. That's where the urgency comes in. It's going to happen on this Thursday. So if you're inviting to an event, don't be like, oh, we have one every single Thursday. Don't say that. Please don't say that. Because they'll be like, well, I'll go to the next one. 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 And be four years later, they still not enrolled. <laughs> because you told them that it happens every Thursday. So if it happens every Thursday, is it exclusive? No. It's not exclusive. People are not wanting to go to something that's just happening all the time. So you got to keep it exclusive. You got to keep it fun. I don't know when these guys are coming back, right? I got this guy named Arnold Bogarty from the military who's been a six-figure earner. I don't know when he's coming back to doing this. We got one time to spend with this gentleman and hear his story. I don't know when he's coming back. Strong posture. That's where the follow-up comes into play. Right. Uh, especially when you're inviting someone like, yo, what are you doing? Are you free at this day, this time? Because I need you to be somewhere. That's posture. That a uh, difference would be like, oh, hey, X, what are you doing on Friday at seven? Are you available to come to a webinar? Just asking. Nah. X is going to be like, bro, I'm busy at seven or whatever time you said. I don't even know what time you said. I'm busy. But if I'm like, yo, X, I need you to be at this place at eight o'clock on Friday. There's nothing more important than this location that you need to be at unless it's a family emergency. I'm going to send you the details. I'm counting you in unless you got an emergency and you can't make it. That's posture. Like, yo, I need you to be here. No questions about it. Like, show up. This is how much it's going to cost. This is who you're going to meet. This is what it's going to be about. And I, I chose you. I invited you out of all the people that I know. Are you the person that I thought of? That's posture. That's a different type of way of inviting. They're going to be like, all right, Rob, I don't want to let you down. Right? So believing in your product, service, or the company. Right? Again, you got to be excited about this. Some people are like, oh, I didn't have the results. So I don't know. Man, listen, I ain't. when I came into this business, I didn't need help with my credit. But I know a lot of people do need help period. Like, I don't care how you how you feel about the services. Do you guys agree that they work? We wouldn't be here making the money, seeing the impact if this didn't work. So don't worry about if it works for you or not. Like, don't stop somebody else's blessing because of your selfishness. I, I always say that to people. Like, just because I didn't use the service don't mean I couldn't bless thousands of people throughout the country with this business. Because look, a Marissa came in, a Bianca, a Brittany, a a brand and a thousands of agents came into this organization and I didn't need help with my credit. So make sure that, but I knew, I believed in the product. I believed in the service that we provided. I believe in the area and in the direction that UWE is going. Sure, if you, we used to say we, we cut ourselves, we bleed green for FES. It was the same, 
Same thing with UWE, you know what I mean? And then have an abundance mindset. It's already done. Like, you got to have the success already painted, the vision, like, just going out and just making it happen, man. Uh, you know, this this event that I put together was was an idea. You know, uh, th thoughts become things, right? You just got to go out there. And one thing I can recommend to all you leaders, I said that to X today, and that's why we've been having this momentum pickup, is because leaders, you got to take ownership of your team. Myra, you need to talk to your downline uh, Marissa, you need to talk to your doc. You need to tell him, yo, I I'm not getting off this call until we got your next PBR set. You haven't done one, you need to do one. So I'm not getting off the call until we set one up. What date are you available? Is it the 28th? Is it the 30th? Is it the 6th of the month? What day are you free? Because we're going to schedule a date. We're going to find a location and we're going to start inviting some people. That's the only, if you just let your team go schedule the PBR, they're not going to go schedule it. You need to step up as a leader, contact them, get the date and the time scheduled and figure everything else after, after that. Make sense? I hope, I'm telling y'all because everybody's like, oh, I just want my team. Nobody's setting up webinars because you're not setting them up with them. So when it comes to conversations, how many people do you want at that PBR? Lorna gave a great example again. I invited 25 people. I talked to 100 people for 25 people to show up. I talked to 1,000 people for, for 50 people to show up. Those are the numbers. So how many people do you really want at your PBR? If you only want five, go invite 15 or 20. But if you want 10, 20, 30 people, you need to go out there and talk with 100, 200 people, invite them, follow up, expose, event brights. You need to be in their inboxes. Yo, you come in or... You know, it's a party, right? If you was throwing a party and you wanted them to come, you're going to be on them, right? You're going to be following up. You're going to be adding, uh, connecting the pieces, having conversations and the, these topics are just bringing it up too. Because I, I, I talk to people about everything. The topics that we able to connect when it comes to life, family, work, fun, dreams, compliments, urgency, all of that stuff comes into play when you're having a conversation about inviting. Urgency, I talked about that. I'm going to skip through a couple of these because I want Raisa to be able to um, jump in and, and teach you guys more about the PBR. But I'm big on compliments. That's one of the best ways for me to break the ice with people anywhere, online, offline. I'm, I'm just talking about, look, if it's somebody, like right now the event that I'm holding down is exclusive. There's only 40 people that's invited. We only got 10 spots I'm, the way I'm telling you is literally how it is. I only got 10 spots available, 30 already filled out of the 40. After 40, we closed down. Yo, look, I've been watching you on social media. You've been wildly successful, and I always admired that from the time that I watched you. I have a private event that's coming up, and I thought of you to invite. I got a couple people that are interested, but I wanted to reach out to you first to see what your availability and what your time is on Friday the 12th at 8 p.m. You see how I tied that in? You've got an amazing mind for business and I highly respect that. I'm getting a, a group of individuals together on Friday night at eight o'clock that are business-minded like me and you. And I wanna know what your availability is because I would love for you to be there. There's a lot of different ways. There's no perfect script, but I'm just giving you guys some examples of how to comp, yo, cause you compliment somebody and then you invite them to be in their presence because of what, yo, it's very hard for somebody to say no. It's very hard for you to be like, yo, I see how sharp your page is. I admire your success. Because do who do you want to bring to your PBR? A person who can lead you to people or a person who can't lead you to nobody? Don't just drag anybody to your PBR. I want successful people at mine. I want people who have influence. I want people who, you know, at the snap of the finger, they can have 15, 20 people in the room, though, the MPOM, that newest possibility of momentum. But how? Complimenting them on their success, keeping it positive, high energy, posture, right? All of that stuff comes into play um, when you're inviting someone to these PBRs. It's not just you put a flyer up. I'm tired of that. Don't just, when you post a flyer on your social media, does not mean that you invited your Facebook friends. Like, no, you made a post. That's not an invite. Like, you need to personally go hit somebody with a flyer, voice note, call them, 
personal invite. So if you're just shooting somebody a post and you tagging them on it, that's not personal. Why? That's why nobody's showing up. But if you make it personal, go into their inbox, it's more effective to send a flyer personally than post it. It is. They're like, yo, I, I didn't even post this publicly because it's so exclusive. So I have to privately send it to you. Don't even don't post this. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> How you change that um the exclusivity of that by the way that you're doing it. So when you're out there and you think that you're promoting your PBR by just putting a post up, I'm sorry to tell you that's not enough. It's not enough work. There's a, a percentage of a percentage of a percentage of your Facebook friends that are seeing that. You got to be creative out the box, create an event bright, an event in, in your in a group, in a private group, right? You could get all hundred of the people that you invited in a private group and set up an event. Like there's so many different ways you can do that, but personal phone call or voice note. I prefer the phone call. There's nothing more powerful than a personal phone call to invite somebody to a presentation or a PBR. Because now they know it's coming directly from you. They feel your energy. It's being transferred over to them. They feel the excitement and exclusive. And then now that you've complimented, you've gone through that process, you edified the leaders, people who are going to be there. Now it's just a follow-up game until you get to the actual PBR. So again, I, I want to hand it over to my other half, you know, with, with sake of time. I try to do that as quickly as I can. Um, but, you know, without further ado, I want to pass it over to Regional Vice President uh, Raisa Otero. For the meantime, we're still working on the last name change. Thanks, X. <laughs> Shout out to X for uh, making that connection four years ago. But, you know, not only a top earner um, in our company, man, but she provides so much value to everybody in the industry um, she's super selfless. You know, I'm still a student to this day, man. I learn from her every day um, and I'm excited. I'm excited about where the team is going, the direction that we're pouring people into of really stepping up and doing these PBRs. And because of her stepping up and doing her own PBR, the amount of success that's going to continue to overflow because of this event that's coming on the 6th. I'm excited to be at the beginning and what it is now. But Raisa, um, if you can hear me loud and clear, I need you to take over and end this up. All right. Awesome. Yes, I'm here. Uh, uh, how are you guys doing tonight? I know it's a little late. Usually our trainings are a little bit shorter, but we wanted to provide as much value as possible as we are in the season. And there's a transition going on uh, right now within our organization, within just everything, you know, you guys may see a lot of new things popping up and we really need to transition um, from going offline, you know, uh, to going, you know, going offline from online. And that's what our main focus has been. And we just want to pour into everyone that has come from that pandemic era, right? Uh, we had a lot of success, but now how can we get back to where we started? So first of all, I want to give it up to everybody, Myra, the, the entire Relentless team, Super excited about Worcester, you know, as Xavier was going back and just diving deep into what we've been able to do. I just look back at, you know, it's going to be four years that I started with the company um, in January. And I just look back on all those conversations. And when I was pushed out of my comfort zone and I did have the conversation with X saying, you know what, we're not pushing people as much as, as you know, we should. And we've been babying them all along and it's really not helping them grow. So, you know, I know we have a lot of people on for the sake of time. I want to provide as much value as possible, but I started to get emotional when he was going through that because I just remember those motions. I remember being in those living rooms and in those churches and really putting in the work that a lot of people weren't seeing behind the scenes. You know, um, my house was always full of agents on the weekend or every day, to be honest. And that's really how we build this business was just being out there and we really need to get back to that. So just want to give it back to my other half. You know, he absolutely always kills it very, very detailed. We've been training since seven. So I'm, I'm a little low on energy. I have an eight. Uh, we've literally been back to back to back training, but um, just know that, you know, we're, we're in this because it's, it's really not about us anymore. It's about how can we help others and, 
just being on these trainings just allows us to be able to provide that. So let me go ahead and share my screen, guys. Um, you know, I started this January 2018, this journey, as you guys heard Xavier talk about him pushing me out of my comfort zone um, and how he, you know, we were able to just really get into what we're what we're doing now. And, you know, I, I want to share with you guys how I was able to do that. Give me a second. Um, let me just go back to the beginning because I really don't know how to use uh, my MacBook <laughs> still. All right, but the importance of uh, PBRs, um, I, I, I really want you guys to, by the end of this training, just understand how important a PBR is, a private business reception. So, and then understanding the importance, but also obviously Rob did an amazing job, put some flames in a chat because he did an amazing job just opening up the mindset to where you don't need a script. Well, what he gave you, you just really have to captivate that, take the notes, and you can really start inviting people without even needing a script. You know, me and him are huge on that. You know, you can, you can have a little script, but always personalize it some way, somehow that personal invitation is what, just what works the most. You know, think about if someone was inviting you, you can kind of tell, did you send this to a hundred people? You know, or you can say, hey, this person probably really did send this to me. So what is a PBR, a private business reception? Uh, so if you hear us saying PBR, 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 uh, but here's some things that I like to call it, right? Uh, we call it a business launch, a red ribbon cutting, a business shower. Um, you know, it could be so many different things when we, when we transition and we start to look back and I'm probably dating myself when I say this, right. Uh, but think about, I remember being in little groups, uh, in, in, with my mom and my aunt and they had like Tupperware parties, type of one in the chat. If you've been to a Tupperware party, <laughs> right. Um, ladies, pure romance parties, uh, Mary Kay parties, right. So think about how fun that used to be, you know, but you, the crazy thing is that we always knew that at the end of that, we had to buy something, right? Isn't that crazy? We always knew every time we were invited to any of those events, we knew it was going to be fun, but we knew we had to open our wallet at the end to support, even if we just bought a $20 item. And so I really want to uh, you to understand that that's really all this is. How can we get people in your living room, make it fun? You know, uh, for instance, one of my agents, shout out to her, Vivian, I know she's probably watching on the call right now, but she put together a PBR, you know, credit and mimosas, you know, brunch. I, I saw in Texas, they're just killing it with the PBRs. They just did like a whole brunch. And so we're really getting into this. And this activity is really what got us, the top leaders that you see here, to the next level. And so that's what we want for you guys now. So just to give you some examples. So if you're brand new, schedule a PBR as soon as possible. Even if you're not, if you've been in for a few months, but you never did a PBR, guess what? Start doing multiple of them. Get with your mentor. Um, because of COVID, obviously it put us out of standstill. We could still do PBRs on Zoom, but obviously you want to make sure that you can do a PBR as soon as possible. So uh, with that being said, if you're new, uh, schedule, you know, so I always give on assignment on every single one of my trainings. So if you're new, schedule your business, launch PBR ASAP with your mentor. Uh, and here's some ideas on what you can do around the PBR. Uh, you can give a prize. This is something that I learned from, again, the Mary Kay and just seeing what everybody else is doing. Host say, I'm going to give a cash prize or I'm giving a, some kind of prize. Do a guest raffle. I remember you know, you always could win something, you know, and I'm just going back and just digging into like my childhood memories being in these living rooms. And little did I know it was network marketing. I'd be in network marketing right day, one day, right? But you want to make it fun. Um, you want to act like you're inviting someone to, you know, just to have, just to have, you know, fun, drinks, appetizers, coffee and credit, Zoom or in person. I mean, even through Zoom, you can really make it fun. You can call it Taco Tuesday and you guys all dress up in Mexican hats. I, I don't know, right? I have, a, I have a, lot of, a lot of Mexicans on my team, so they make the best tacos. I love them. So I'm like, man, I wish I could, you know, we can't taste the food, but maybe you could teach me how to do it through Zoom and I could talk about credit while you teach me. So you guys want to just make it uh, really, really, really fun. Um, and that's really what it takes, you know? So what does the PBR flow look like? So take a screenshot of this because this is something I've been working on with my team. 
because sometimes you just want to know the flow. So, because how many times do you feel like when you're presenting or about to present, you're like, what goes first? You know, what do I, what do I talk about first? What's last? Like, what's the right arrangement? And I found this to be the most effective for me personally. So obviously talking about your intro, you know, uh, before, before UWE, you know, how you feel now and how you feel about the future. That's huge to open up with that, open up with your testimonial being able to say, you know, how many of you saw, type of one in the chat if you saw results uh, or a credit score increase, right? So that's the first thing you talk about, right? That builds the excitement. You know, I saw a hundred point increase. I saw 65 negative items get deleted. I saw my bankruptcy chapter seven be deleted. So I, I, you know, I want to share this with you. It's a passion of mine, you know, to share this with you because this is what I was able to experience myself. And then you go into and you move into YWE, why did you get started? You know, why you, why did you make the decision? And what is the problem that is going on in our nation right now? And how do you provide the solution to that problem? And, and being able to give vision too, like where the company's going, how much we've grown in the last four years alone is ridiculous. So now you start to kind of build that up. So by the time you get to the PBR, you know, you've already said so much. You want to sell people just already at the beginning with that information. Um, and, and once we get to this, it's just it just adds more value. So then you want to go over the uh, UCS. You want to go over the UWE, the one through 10. Literally just read. I'm telling you guys, just read. Like I still just read. Like when I talk to potentials on Zoom, I just go through the one through 10 now. And I do it in this format and I just read on here what's the most valuable from all of the boxes and just explain it. And we just, we've been closing so many deals like that alone. And then always the PBRs, I like it because it's more private. So now if they have questions, the questions can be answered, right? When we're in like a big presentation or whatever, we kind of break out and have people go into individual little groups and Q and A, but with the PBRs, it's so personal that any questions that they have can be addressed right then and there. And I think that's what really uh, solidifies it. And then always be closing and moving for the close. So like I said, at the beginning, I, at my intro, I already want to be thinking in a mindset where I'm already closing in my intro. I'm closing in my testimonial. I'm closing in why I got started. I'm closing in my vision. And uh, so just keep that in mind, ABC, always be closing throughout the entire presentation. So uh, skill number three in our industry is presentation for a reason, guys. And as you can see, you'll see pictures of me. These are pictures of me. This is, you know, uh, the, the picture prior to this was, uh, this was my first, probably my first or second PBR when Xavier forced me and told me that he wasn't coming. Uh, and we used to start, we started them at a hookah lounge. Here, I'm in a living room, you know. Uh, uh, I don't remember what her name was. I have no idea, but I do remember the agent. It was Armando that put me in front of, in her living room with like five people. I'm in a living room, guys, okay? Uh, I don't even know what title I was at this point. I have no idea. It didn't matter. I was just out and giving value. And as you can see, even this, if you guys, the old school people, if you look at the presentation, that was like our old presentation. So that's how you know uh, that I've been in the trenches, right? So there's different types of PBRs. And the one we want you guys to focus on is probably like the small group PBR, but just understand that there's a one-on-one -on -one PBR. So never have lunch alone, never have coffee alone. Always have somebody with you and always have this document with you laminated. Do a one-on-one -on -one presentation, invite someone to coffee, lunch, you know, you, if you could be at work and, and as you're having your lunch, you know, sit down with somebody, that's a one-on-one -on -one presentation uh, where you want to be able to provide uh, the information with that same flow that I provided you earlier. Then you could do a two-on-one -on -one presentation in my, in your local market. If you have your leader in your local market, I'm telling you it's a blessing because now what Lucinda used to do used to be like, hey, I set up a meeting with two realtors, let's go. And so it was a two-on-one, you know, she, she was, uh, I, I personally brought her in, but she would put me in front of them. And we started to create these two-on-ones. Uh, so it's not really like a small group or a big group presentation, but it was a two-on-one and we just go over the one through 10. Like literally that's all we did. And obviously back then it was different, but you see, see we're having fun. You see these smiles on these faces, it's two realtors, they got started that same day, three, three young ladies, two of them are sisters. And we're just having a good time being able to, to, to understand the vision of our company. Now, these are the ones we want you to do the most. 
the small group presentations. So you want to get your agents to create, you know, these invites, get people in the room. A, a small PBR presentation is five people minimum. And let me tell you the formula. For the most part, if you get five people in front of your mentor or even at a PBR setting, the results are that you 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 probably get one agent out of the five, right? And so if you know you need two agents, three agents, whatever title you need to hit, that will tell you how many PBRs you need to do. And I understood that. So on the on the right here, I'm in a realtor's office with seven realtors. Uh, I remember uh, at this time, this was Jose Martinez that actually got me in the room with these realtors. And I got it up on the screen. As you can see, if you look at the table, they all have the one through 10 in their hand. And that's what we're going over, right? Again, a lot of success from that. Local restaurants, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but a lot of the local restaurants will allow you to host without charging you anything. If, if they sometimes have a little separate room, you can ask them, hey, what is your slowest day that we can come in? I might have 10 to 15 people on a weekly basis. They're gonna be excited. They're gonna make money because people are gonna order or get a drink by default. You're bringing them business and then you don't have to pay. So get into your local restaurants and see who would be willing to do that. This is the type of setting that, so we taught you how to invite, but now you got to go out and create the action. Where can you actually host these? And can you do one a week, two a week, whatever it takes to get to the next level. And then of course, there's that large group presentation. As you guys know, Xavier kind of mocked me on how I was crying, right? I was like, I don't even sound like that, but okay. Uh, but but yeah, I was scared to present, you know, and, and to be able to see the transition. And now I can present in front of, large rooms without a problem, but it wasn't always like that. And so this is the kind of growth that we want you guys to have because they always said that the person in front of the room makes the most money. So here's another idea. First time buying, buyer seminars. There's a lot of them in every single city. Why are you guys not showing up to those? Why is there's probably networking events on Facebook that you can just pop up at. They're Eventbrite. Um, I mean, meet up all these different things b and i's you know there's so many things where you can actually be out there the time is now to be in the trenches guys the time is now like now is the perfect time to be out there building your business but it's a it's a relationship business you have to get out into the community so this is a first time uh buyers uh seminar I was able to speak to a ton of people was able to enroll a ton of people after this event and then a local weekly meeting, it's another form of a PBR. So for instance, Arnold starring the one at Glory Days, we used to have the one in Tampa. If you're a sales director and above, there should be a local meeting going on every single week, no matter where you are. Even in Tampa, there should be way more because there's a lot of us out here. So you know, if we're all doing 10, 20 PBRs a week, imagine the activity that will come from that. So even if there's a lot of people in your market, there should be multiple, but there should be one where we all group, you know, and that's what that's what we're we're kind of going towards. Again, again, COVID kind of shut us down for that. But if there's no weekly event, guess what? You need to be the weekly event. You need to do what Xavier told me to do and build the market and look at what's transpired because Xavier brought me out of that comfort zone. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna just do it. I didn't want to, but I've never stopped. Ever since I started doing those presentations, I have never stopped presenting either on Zoom or in person and just look at the movement that it's created. We have over 2000 agents in, in Massachusetts or in those surrounding states alone. So if you enroll the agent, you need to lead, you need to learn how to present. If you, even if you have one agent on your team, that agent bought into your vision and you really need to learn how to present ASAP until until um until you're able to host and then host multiple pbrs for those agents and now not only are you presenting for yourself and your potentials but now you're able to get your agents to the next level so i always like to show this picture take a screenshot of it um this is your comfort zone right here right but guess what the magic doesn't happen there because the moment i started presenting that's when everything changed not only as a as a business not i want you guys to understand that not only my business grew i grew as a person i grew as a mom i grew as a you know significant other now wife you know like i just grew as a person all together i'm definitely not the racer that sales director racer that started presenting it really changed 
my entire life when I started to get out there, build these connections, show the value, show the vision. So, so many people look at the success that, you know, that I have and that, you know, a lot of the top leaders have, but it's when I stepped into that second bubble, it's when I really got out of my comfort zone. So this invite script, I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, this is an invite script that Bruce shared on our last training. And I kind of just, you know, uh, did a little bit of fixing it up a little bit. And what I did was I, 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 I grabbed something. This is why you should never miss training. So if you hear what I'm saying right now is like, I'm always on every training and on every training, I just grab something, always grab one thing and implement it right away. The very next day after that training, I started to send this to everyone that I knew in Massachusetts on my Facebook friends. And I was able to register 15 guests to the Massachusetts event with this and some people were telling me man you know i take personal invites serious because I, I said i'm personally inviting you to attend and so they seen what what you know a lot a lot of times people are watching you on social media but when they get this personal invite it changed the game so take a screenshot of this as you're creating your pbr this is the 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 invite that i'm giving all my new agents uh to be able to share and it's really getting, it's very simple. I'm just doing a get together. I would love for you to attend. It's about building your credit plus how to make money. Knowledge is power. If I personally invited you, would you attend? It's so simple, right? But it, it's very to the point. Um, but presenting changed my life, guys. You know, I always tell X, like, if you wouldn't have pushed me out of my comfort zone, I don't know, I would have probably been I don't know. I would have fell down back to field chain. I have no idea, right? He pushed me. I, I don't even want to know what that looks like, <laughs> right? But it changed my life, you know, being able to go out there, get in front of the rooms, get, get in PBRs. You know, the, the thing that makes you the most uncomfortable is probably the thing that's going to help you grow. And I know a lot of people have issues when it comes to presenting because they don't know what, just, just do it, do it scared, do it now, don't wait till tomorrow. Like, you guys overthink sometimes too much. And I get that because I was there. But um, but when you understand what's on the other side, I guess that doesn't matter, right? When you understand that that growth is on the other side, that your income's about to grow, that you're going to be able to retire your parents, that you're going to be able to retire yourself. I mean, what's on the other side is much bigger than your own comfort zone. So presenting really changed my life. If you look at everything that's on the screen, if it wasn't because I actually went out there and just shared the value and the information, where would I be today? And you know what's crazy? It's not even about me. Look at all the lives that I was able to change because I went out there and presented. Look at them, how many other people are winning. I mean, give a huge shout out to this whole squad right here, killing it. But if I didn't get myself out there, guess what? Vice President Lucinda Lopez, I met her in the hookah lounge. She signed up in a PBR. Cherie Torres, same thing. She gave me a pre-app. Natalie Rodriguez has seen me do the most on social media for a year. All of these people have been, I've been in the trenches, but it was never about me. And the more I'm in this business, the more I see that it's not about me. It's not about you. But the moment you get yourself out of your own way, you're not only going to bless yourself, but you're going to bless a lot of people behind you. So I always give an assignment. My assignment is go out there, do it, do it scared, fail forward, create a PBR, do it yourself, do it with your mentor, do it without the mentor. I, it doesn't matter, right? But the point is to get yourself out there and start creating this PBR because it's, it's just going to change your entire business. And I'll tell you that by experience, you know, if it wasn't because of that, I don't know where I would be. So that's my part. I try to keep it as short as possible. Hopefully I was able to add value and hopefully inspire you guys into action. I gave you guys an assignment. I told you guys my story. I challenge you guys. Don't do one PBR. I challenge you do five, do six, do 10. If, if you get one agent at every PBR, think about what it takes to get to the level that you want to get to and just get it done and just share the vision of where we're going you know, and where we're going to be in the, in our busy season and this, this tax season, this January, this first quarter of 2022, what you do right now will set you up for that. So you need to be preparing people for what's coming and you need to understand the vision for yourself and for we're taking our company to the next level. So that's all I have. Thank you so much, guys. Hopefully I was able to add value.
Good night. God bless. Wow, wow, wow. Real quick. I had to jump in real quick. Guys, it's 1145, 45 minutes longer than what we normally go. We still have 100 plus ages logged in. Congratulations. Pat on the back for you guys. Man, I'm talking about Millionaire Mindset does this all the time. We try to make it short for us, but when you have this much value, you got a powerhouse the way we have tonight. It doesn't matter the time, but that's how fully committed we are. David Marquez, Reza, Dr. Arnold Bowie can tell you, sometimes we have training with Edward Worries that are eight hours straight, two days back to back. And because we're fully committed, we make no excuses. We might be tired, we might be hungry, we might be thirsty, but you know what's more important to us is the team that we're leading. What's more important to us is the family we're taking care of. What's more important to us is that at the end of the day, we got to create and leave a legacy. So man, shout out to every single agent that stood on board. I mean, just stood plugged in. This right here is what's going to take your business to the next level. And it's so simple. It's not easy, right? But it's definitely simple. So again, thank you so much. And one thing that I have to add in there, when we was on the training with Alfred, man, and he had this successful individual that came in, he just started telling us how important PBRs are and how he can tell what his paycheck was going to look like based on the amount of PBRs that he was doing and that his team was doing. Some of you guys might not have that team, but you can still determine your paycheck based on the PBRs that you're doing for yourself. And I'm telling you, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great, period, right? So another thing that I want to leave you guys on is this. When you do PBRs during this season, this is when you find your superstars. This is when you find the individuals that are going to stick around for the longest. Why? Because this is what's going to separate the boys from the men, the bosses from the workers, the, the, the women from the little girls, because let me explain what I mean. The boys from the men, because at the end of the day, see, if I was to hit up one of my top leaders, which I have a whole bunch of them, but if I was to hit up Rob in December, the same way I did hit up Rob in December, and Rob was like, nah, X, I'm good. You know what? I got a party to go to. Or you know what, X, I'm good because I got another gift that I want to buy with this money. See, that I knew Rob wasn't the one that I needed in my team because Rob wasn't serious. But because of the season was here and he took action, let me know that I was going to have somebody solid. And today he sits in front of you guys as a vice president, soon to be regional vice president, a six-figure earner, an r, &R member, and has changed hundreds and thousands of live nationwide. So understand, this is the season you go get your superstars. This is the season you go get the solid players. This is the season where you build that solid foundation with some solid warriors and soldiers next to you. Not when everybody's jumping on board because now these are just followers and not leaders. Leaders enroll during this season. Ask Reza, ask Dr. Arnold Bogarty. Ask our executive vice president, David Marquez. Ask Mr. Anthony Kelly. Ask Rob. Ask Chris. She would tell you. And there's so many I could keep going on. But this right here is the season I love the most. Because this is when we sign our solid players. Guys, I'll give you a quick story. You know who we just brought into the team? We just brought in Herman Davis. Look him up. He used to work side by side where Rosa Park, he's 84 years old and he just joined our organization. You know what's about to happen in Detroit, Michigan in the next month or two? It's gonna be stupid. And he came in during this season. And the gentleman that I was just meeting with today at Amateur Works, it's a small world because he also know Rob's guy, famous brick kid who signed with Rock Nation doing big things in St. Pete and Tampa with Nino Marcus. Guys, we're about to have a table in Nino Marcus for every person that gets declined for their actual credit card. We're gonna step in and take care of them. Do you see how big this is? Do you understand that this is the season to be jolly because of this? 
It's not because the presence you're going to get. It's because the people that's about to join your team that's going to keep giving you presence throughout the whole year. The gift that keeps on giving. Let's get with the program, guys. This is what got us to the top and it's going to continue to grow. We won't be happy. We won't be satisfied to everybody is Pentacle Senior Vice President. That means we ain't never going to stop. <laughs> I sound like P. Diddy right now. <laughs> but guys, man, enough is enough, man. I appreciate it, man. Amazing training by the power couple, right? Um, Dr. Arnold Brogerty, I see you kind of unmuted. Your yeah, mind. yeah. Let me just let me just hop in real quick, guys. Listen, you know, we put together an amazing event this Thursday. All right, it's gonna be a lot of fun at Glory Days. Me and David, our executive vice president, David Marquez, we just left Glory Days. That's why I was a little late on training, guys. Listen, they're hooking us up. They're giving us pretty much the entire restaurant. All right. I mean, the entire restaurant. I told them we're coming in with costumes and we're doing a whole bunch of stuff. They're sectioning off a place for us. So listen, if you're in Tampa, you're close to Tampa, Orlando, come have some fun. Bring uh, bring the kids. All right. Kid friendly. We can lock the doors. And so when we're doing the presentation, the kids don't interrupt. Guys, but it's going to be a great fun team relentless event. So just get out there and let's have some Halloween fun, but also let's make sure we invite though. I mean, we want to come. I want everybody there, but let's make sure that people can see our culture. You invite people to that. We have a lot of fun and I uh, guarantee, you know, they'll see the value because people like to have a good time, but they want to see the information as well, guys. So go ahead and invite out Rob and I and Chris, we're, we're going to bring it down and uh, we're going to have a lot of the leaders there as well. So I look forward to seeing everybody on Thursday. Yeah, guys, and look, just think about this, man. If you want to see a live Power Ranger, y'all going to have them that night. Yeah, He's I'll be a Power Ranger, too, the red one. <laughs> so, guys, let's have fun, man. You got some powerful people going to be up there wearing some costumes. And, man, we're going to go ahead and close every single deal that comes through that door, man. And Arnold always tells us, if you don't need a PBR, the PBR needs you. Let's get it. All right. Thank you. Good night. I see all you guys at the top and how Bruno will say, I see you at the bank. Let's get it, 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 get it. Good night, guys. Good night.